Mr. Maulana, thank you very much for taking this call from Raw Media. Um, as you know, we've been in touch over the last few days uh, trying to discuss uh, what has been happen happening with the issue of the burial of Muslims who have died as a result of COVID-19. Uh, now, yeah. if I were to just talk about the last few days, you know, as well as I do, that there's been a bit of a pendulum between uh, on the one hand, there were some news reports that the government had indicated that they were willing to make a change or revise their current policy. And uh, perhaps a day later, we have the health secretary or the health spokesperson sort of deny that and say that no official decision was made to change any of that. What is your stance uh, on this up and down at the moment? Uh, unfortunately, what I feel, uh, although, you know, everybody knows that uh, every other country is uh, Burying and why here? And um, so everybody understand there is something else is happening, but still. And uh, we all feel and also hope and pray uh, they, uh, this uh, burial uh, has to be done and uh, with the repeated request from various people. And uh, this has been there. And finally, there was indications and also in parliament, uh, 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 Honorable Pavitra Vanyarachi, uh, uh, the, the health minister herself, said that uh, you know uh, they are there to um, uh, discuss and consult with medical officers and experts and all, and uh, they'll be arriving very uh, like very positive manner because they all know it can be done, but for some reason. Uh, just because of somebody's pressure, we don't know what it is, but actually uh, this can be done. All these kind of indications uh, were given. Uh, everybody said that it's going to be okay, you know, and uh, whereas, you know, WHO is very clear and, um, you know, guidelines are very clear and uh, with all this uh, situation, uh, everybody hopeful. Uh, uh, thinking that uh, it's allowed and but then still uh, somebody some other spokesperson coming and telling the media no no this was not discussed this was not approved uh, this cannot be done and that kind of negative talking also coming you know it's very sad you know very disheartening to see the way people are talking these days um, Mr. Maulana, do you think that there was, in fact, a discussion, perhaps behind closed doors, and that somehow this information leaked out before the government was prepared to make a decision on it or prepared to make an official uh, statement on it? And because the information leaked out and there was so much, of course, jubilation from the Muslim community who were very happy to hear this news, uh, then having the government come in sort of and say, no, we have not made a decision yet. Do you think something like that happened where the information was just mishandled or something like that, especially in light of the fact that there is some information that a gazette is supposed to come out at some time, midnight tonight or soon, where there will be a revision to the cremation order. So do you think it was something like that, where the government is actually in uh, a discussion about this and maybe the information leaked out before it should have? Yeah. Uh, actually, you know, like this is how I hear and um, whether uh, information leaked out or anything very uh, scientifically, factually, if this the matter is okay by professional doctors, uh, epidemiologists and uh, all these people, the committee is going to discuss and come arrive at. If they are going to come for the conclusions, uh, they should go ahead. And um, this is, we are not going to, there is no reason for them to play hide and seek. Uh, no, this is everywhere else, 192 plus countries are practicing. And uh, so what is this? What is uh, wrong in it? You know, this is something, uh, you know, we uh, Muslims and Catholics and other people uh, to give a, a burial with dignity. Uh, you know, we are asking for, and um, so uh, this easily, uh, when there is no other reasons for them to uh, refuse it. Now, there is no water contaminations, and um, if the body is uh, from the mortuary uh, with all the uh, health 
instructions, guidelines uh, that is going to be handled. And uh, what is the what is the other reason they are going to look for? You know, this is Correct. how we have to look uh, at it. Yeah, so my follow-up question to that is, uh, obviously you hear, heard the news reports about uh, there was the option of looking for dry land somewhere in the east or a remote island. These were some of the news that was coming out over the last few days as options for, uh, for burial of Muslims who have contracted COVID-19. Yeah. Now, do you think that sort of thing is an actual option? Don't you think there are obstacles to that? Do you think it will be easy for Muslim families, say in Colombo, to transport a body within the 24 hours? to say the east or to a remote island do you think that that is the best solution or what is your, what are your thoughts on this you know if that is the way they are going to agree but for us burial is important you know this is something we are looking for so if you know if there's a fear psychologist a fear psycho uh, so, you know the, some people are unnecessarily having some kind of uh, fear on this matter uh, well and uh, we will take uh, the way they are asking for and uh, we were right from the beginning we were saying that we are prepared to give even if they wanted that the the the, the place the the, the burial uh, the place uh, have to be concrete and avoid water contaminations and water leakage to be avoided uh, we are we are ready you know at, we wanted to give uh, a burial um, uh, to the uh, disease a uh, very dignified manner uh, that is very important for us you see this is how we are looking at it yes and also mr maulana something i've noticed uh, is the way the muslim community has resisted this now uh, cremation goes against the very core of your belief system. It is very clearly in your, if, correct me if I'm wrong though, it is very clearly in your Quran that, that the body should be buried. Uh, despite that, despite the opposition to this, you all have, uh, as a community, I felt, I feel, uh, you all have responded this, to this very uh, well, very graciously. Uh, there have been leaders within the community who have tried to uh, talk to uh, the leaders and authorities in government. Uh, some of you all have uh, raised your voices, people like yourself on Twitter and stuff like that. But in general, I feel that there has been a very mediated response. You all have shown that you all are willing to go with the, the government uh, decrees on on burial, uh, on cremation. Uh, but at the same time, you all have made it very clear that you all have real heartache here, that, uh, that it goes against your, like I said, the basic tenets of your belief system. Uh, do you think that if, if and when the government agrees uh, and relents on this and changes the, the guidelines and the, the Gazette notification, this will be a victory for the Muslim community fought on, on very, uh, very humanitarian lines? Because this is not a battle you all took to the streets, a battle you all took against. You all did not make this a racial issue. Uh, it was not made a political issue. You all did very, on humanitarian terms, only speak about the dignity of burial or the dignity of giving a, a send off to your loved ones. Do you think that that's how it will be perceived within the community as well? Yes, of course. Our obligation is our obligations. And um, if everybody agree and uh, if you are going to give an opportunity of give, giving this uh, burial uh, for COVID victims, of course, the families, family members, the entire community as a whole. But while they are living, we are respecting. And after the death, uh, even, you know, the respect what you are giving and uh, our obligation to give a burial for a respectful manner, uh, with very dignified manner, uh, is to be given, is being accepted. So we are really happy and we will be thankful uh, you know, it's uh, if they are going to understand uh, the factual um, reasons and uh, behind it, there's no other political reasons for this. So this is very important for us, and uh, we are we will be very grateful. And uh, you know, that's how we are looking at it. And uh, right now it's a very crucial time because the at least the conversation around the possibility of reversing this uh, this. Uh, legal status of 
having to cremate bodies that have contracted COVID-19 is being debated at the moment. So right now is a crucial point. Do you think that at, at a time like this, uh, what do you think the media should be doing? For instance, we saw a newspaper article, a single newspaper article recently, where uh, there was, a, you know, where this, um, I think it was a doctor or a scientist who had spoken about uh, how, uh, how water can be contaminated as a result of, uh, you know, uh, burying COVID-19 bodies. But like you said, there's plenty of research worldwide and it's not just that, it's the uh, World Health Organization. In fact, uh, yesterday, I think it was uh, the, the UN representative, uh, Ms. Singer also uh, spoke up about this. So there is general consensus, global consensus that uh, there is no way or very little chance that um, you know, COVID contamination can come through, uh, can be waterborne, uh, especially once the person that has contracted the disease is deceased. Um, in a situation like this right now, especially when, like I said, it's a crucial situation, how important is that? Is it for the media to maybe explain uh, the facts and or, or myth bust uh, at a time like this? Yeah, uh, the media, you know, the social media has been reporting, you know, there are so many professionals are writing about it. So with the factual, um, uh, you know, justifying these matters and those matters have to be uh, very clearly uh, to be conveyed. And um, uh, that's very important, you know, the, you know, the, the water contamination through water contaminations, uh, this cannot be contaminated, um, um, everything very clear and uh, 52 million cases all over the world and all other countries are uh, practicing except Sri Lanka. So although uh, these some of the people through their research, there are many research is being done. Uh, there won't be waterborne uh, disease uh, or uh, this won't be contaminated very clearly. Those matters have to be given equal opportunity yeah uh, you know this has to be widely uh, uh, spoken there are some doctors that have given theses out of it and um, the behaviors of this virus and uh, how it won't uh, exist after the uh, the when person die it dies off and after that you know is is not going to be uh, spread or contact you know it's going to that all those many research are being done and these matters uh, the expertise uh, professionals have written various things uh, after so much of research so these matters have to be uh, highlighted and uh, this matter has to be justified and um, you know just one person is writing like this even uh, this is what we said no, okay, even if she says it's contaminated and we said that, you know, with the, you know, body bag, well packed, then um, taking away to another place and uh, we give the grave, very deep grave and also there's no chance for the water leakage. Even for that extent, uh, we are agreeing, you know. We have discussed this matter six, seven months ago, uh, very clearly. I mean, I was one of the person who went to Temple Trees and the health officials were there and Prime Minister was there. And uh, we wanted the committee be appointed, uh, let the committee discuss uh, very, you know, uh, widely and look at these matters and come with some kind of a conclusion. Thank you. Th thank you for me this opportunity. And uh, so we ourselves have written about these, our feelings and uh, through uh, social media, it has reached so many people. Uh, lots of people are calling and talking about it. So majority of the people, even who are aware of I meet, every community feel sorry about it, you know, like uh, wherever I go, wherever I feel, not only Muslims, you know, our brothers, everybody. So likewise, um, you know, there are uh, certain fear psychoses were there at the beginning, some kind of uh, people were thinking. Now it has proved beyond any kind of doubt, uh, 52 
million means you know it's not oh, one or two or three or, or thousand samples many million samples without any doubt it has been clearly uh, you know brought it out and uh, so these are very clear fact so on behalf of uh, all these affected people the family members and the community uh, we are grateful and uh, we express our gratitude to you all thank you very much um thank you mr maulana for speaking to us i don't want to drag this much further um but just say thank you and i really hope that there will be a solution very very soon um yeah thank you so much thank you thank you mr Ayman.